We approached the supporters board a couple of weeks before the League One season was officially curtailed. We held a video conference and as part of that meeting, we detailed the operational and financial position of the club and the impact of lockdown and, and no ticket sales. Uh, now, as a club, we tend to believe we're fairly well run. We operate within our means. We have a drive to be sustainable. We try to generate revenue outside of football and ticket sales. But this is unprecedented and our refund liability is not insignificant if everyone who is entitled to come back to a refund does so. But at the same time, we've got some amazing supporters. And since lockdown began, they've been trying their best in any way they can to support the club. They've been buying lottery subscriptions. They've been making donations. They've been making free purchases for next season. And our supporters board are a mixture of supporters from the supporters club, supporters trust and, and independent fans. So we've a real mixture of supporters there. And it's a really good working relationship and has been for a number of years. So we went with a complete honest assessment of where we were. Uh, at this point, um, the financial position, the financial implications of refunds and presented several of our own ideas of, of how we wanted to approach our refund strategy. They really helped us narrow those ideas down. They came up with some of their own ideas. They helped us with how the refund should be communicated, making sure that, I mean, we're always honest as a club, but they really told us to make sure we were clear and transparent of, of the situation so supporters could make an informed decision. And they came up with a tagline in Rover Supporters We Trust, which is a, a play in our usual fan engagement campaign in Rovers We Trust. So it's been a real design by committee approach. Um, after that initial meeting, we took their ideas and their feedback and we crafted a final document. Uh, we then received some more ideas via email as well and, and have tried to put those into the mix. And then uh, we presented our final options and, and ideas back to the supporters board for, for comments really uh, and any changes. And Hopefully it will go down really well. Um, it's it's been a designed by committee approach. Uh, it's been created by supporters for supporters really. So we're really hopeful that it's it's going to work. Um, it's not the first time we've worked with our supporters board on on big ticket items like this. Uh, a few years ago, we wanted to try and and work with them to to come together to try and figure out how to get more twenty two to twenty four year olds in the ground. It was something that was a bit of a drop off on the season ticket sales. Uh, and they helped us with a unique pricing strategy for that group as well. So, yeah, we've, as a club, we always put a lot of stock and emphasis on our relationship with supporters and making sure they feel valued and, and a lot of stock and emphasis on that supporters board relationship. And we use the supporters board to, to help drive some key decisions of the club. And I think it's times like this when that approach needs to be reinforced um, as we're all in this together. So hopefully it will go down well with supporters and we'll see where we are in a, in a few weeks time.